Alright, hey guys, today we're doing a pretty quick tutorial in Adobe After Effects, and we will be going over how to use loop expressions. Uh, I'll keep it pretty brief, but basically how loop expressions work is you have an animation completed, or you have some sort of effect, maybe a flicker or anything like that, and then you can have it continuously repeat without having to copy and paste keyframes and make it super, super long. So this is a very quick example that I made uh, just using mask and mask paths. And they're just going through the stroke animation multiple times and you can see how it looks. Uh, and so we're going to be doing something similar today and I'll be showing you how to do that. What's really cool about this is again it saves a lot of time and it's very efficient. And you can do this with lighting as well and that's going to be in the next video. So you can make very very cool flickers and uh, strobe lights and really really cool stuff like that but for now we're gonna focus on very simple mask paths and stuff like that and uh, and yeah that's what we're gonna be it's gonna look a little bit better but it'll look something like this so I'm gonna start off in a new composition and we're gonna call this stars and really quickly I'm just gonna set up our background just scale this down a little bit All right, that looks pretty good. So here is our clip and we want to make our star animation the way that we're going to do that. And again, there are so many different applications for this. Uh, this is just one of them. So we're going to start off with a new solid. And this solid is going to be our main star animation. If you press and hold on this shape tool, you can select star, which is really nice and easy to create. Then I'm just going to create a star like that. And what's really important is the mask points. And now we're going to hop into our effects and presets and type stroke into here. So After Effects has built-in stroke, which is under generate. And you can use that, but I'll be using trap code 3D stroke, which uh, just has one extra feature, which is taper. But other than that, I'll tell you guys what needs to be uh, changed. So thickness, we're going to set that to six. And generate is the built-in one will have the exact same uh, functions. They're both going to have start and end and that's all we really really need. But I'm just going to turn on taper which is going to add some cool depth to our star. So we have that set up. Now start and end is what we really need to have our uh, animation work. So we're going to start by keyframing start. And this is going to be keyframed at 100. And just select your main star and hit U to uh, open up the ma uh, the keyframes. Sorry. And then at around one second, we're going to set another keyframe, and this is going to be at zero. And now, if you preview through, you're going to see that it's going to loop through the star animation, and that looks pretty cool. But we want to finish the animation, so this is only half of it. We want it to continue and close out the animation. So the way that we do this is right where we sent, right where we set, sorry, our last keyframe. We're going to set another one with end. So we're going to set that right there. I'm just going to hit U to open up our keyframes one more time. Now this is going to be set at 100, and then we're going to go down another one second or so. So equal distance from here to here. We're going to set this to zero. And now you can, guys can see the full animation is going to loop through once and then it's going to finish our animation. So that's what we were trying to do right there. So once we have that set up, we're going to easy ease all these keyframes. That's just going to make it a little bit smoother. And that's looking pretty good. So before we start looping and start using the expression editor, just make sure you add some extra keyframes. So add one right here for end and add one right here for start. And this is just gonna make sure that when it is looping through, it's gonna loop the start from here to here at the same interval. And this is gonna be looped from here to here. So just make sure you have those set up. So then we're gonna go into our expression editor and the way we do that is you're gonna hold down alt on your keyboard and select this stopwatch. And once we're in here, we're just going to type in loop, all lowercase, and then capital O, type in out. We're going to throw in two brackets and our semicolon at the end. So instead of retyping that, I'm just going to copy that. Okay, good. You can select off once you have that typed in. 
I'm going to do the same thing for end. So the exact same expression and then select off. And now you guys can see that it will stroke through this just like that. At the same interval, it's going to repeat through that animation. So that is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, now, what's really nice about this is if we want multiple stars, we can just duplicate this layer and move it around. So let me just throw this behind our character. So we have this star set up. And now let me just duplicate it. This one, let me just open position, scale, rotation. I'm gonna scale it down. Let me just move over to where we can see it. Rotate it. And let me just grab this uh, anchor tool. So we're gonna move our anchor point right to the center of the star. So it is easier to move around. One second. All right, that's pretty good. So now we can move it around, rotate it from the center. Whoa. How did this get over here? What? Oh, this thing's jumping all over the, hello? All right, well, let me try this one more time. All right, there we go. Is that better? All right, there we go. So now it's gonna let us rotate around that center point. So we have that one set up there. We can duplicate this. Move this down. Rotate it. Uh, scale it down a little bit. Duplicate it. Anyway, it's completely up to you how you want to set it up. Uh, this doesn't matter too much. It's all up to you. So now we have, really quickly, we have that set up. And we have all of these stars tracing through at, at the same intervals. Again, because they're all going at the exact same time, it doesn't look too nice. So what's really nice about this is if you open up the keyframes, so just hit U on your keyboard. And if you drag these out, it's going to change the time uh, for every single time it loops through. So we don't have to work, don't have to have too much effort on our part working with the keyframes. And it's just super easy to change, saves a lot of time. And uh, we're just gonna move this one over a bit. So you can see some of them trace through faster than others, some of them are a little bit slower. This one's very, very slow. But it is really, really cool what you can do with loop expressions, and this is just one uh, situation that you can use it in. All right, let me just finish off the video. So we're gonna add some final touches to our uh, our composition. So I added a new adjustment layer right here, and now I'm gonna add in, uh, oof, there's so many glows. I'm going to add in Sapphire Glow, so let me just add that in. Okay. Uh, I can't tell if it's loaded in or not. Can I select something? Nope. Uh, let's just give After Effects a little bit of time to... Uh, catch up to what's going on um, so anyway if you guys have any other ideas for tutorials or anything like that please leave a comment below and uh, see if we can finish off this tutorial all right so now it's loaded in uh, this we're just gonna lower the brightness a little bit and add a bit of a threshold. So that looks pretty good. Anyway, you can customize and do uh, whatever you like with uh, 
loop expressions. It's very, very up to what the creator wants to do with it. So I did mention that there will be a new video coming out on how to do it with lighting and that should be uploaded pretty soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm just going to let this go through one time so we can get a good look at, at what our final result is. All right, let me just preview it from here. So that is what we created in this video with uh, loop expressions. I hope you guys enjoyed and please leave a comment and a like. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you guys.